Hi guys, hope you're all well. Today we're going to have a look at how to play these days on the guitar. The key of the song is B flat, but we're going to play G major shapes with a capo on the third fret. If you already know the chords, G, G sus 2 over A, G over B, C add 9, D, E minor 7 and A minor 7, you can skip to here in the video while we'll be playing for the song. The first chord that we're going to learn is the G major and when we're talking about numbers of fingers we're talking number one, number two, number three and number four. So our first finger goes on the fifth fret of the A string, our second finger goes on the sixth fret of the bottom E string, our third finger goes on the sixth fret of the B string and our fourth finger goes on the sixth fret of the top E string. That is the G major chord. While we're still holding that chord, we're going to do the G over B. So for this one, all we have to do is take our second finger off and we're replacing that with the thumb, which is stretching round and muting the bottom string. And that's the G over B. Still while we're holding that, we're going to do another one and we're going to do the G sus2 over A. And for this one, from that G over B, we're just going to take our first finger off and still keep the bottom string muted with the thumb. A lot of the time when I'm playing the G chord, I won't actually play the first finger and I'll stretch the second finger over the A string and mute that. This is called a G5. The next chord that we're going to learn is the C add 9. So for this one, we have the first finger on the fifth fret of the D string. We have our second finger on the sixth fret of the A string, our third finger on the sixth fret of the B string, and our fourth finger on the sixth fret of the top E string. Our thumb again is stretching round to mute the bottom string, and that is the C add nine. Another chord that we're gonna learn is the D major. So for this one, we've got our first finger on the fifth fret of the G string. We have our second finger on the fifth fret of the top E string, and we have our third finger on the sixth fret of the B string. And again, our thumb is wrapping around to mute the bottom E string, and that is the D chord. The next chord that we're going to learn is the E minor seven. For this, we have the first finger on the fifth fret of the A string. We have the second finger just behind it on the fifth fret of the D string. We have the third finger on the sixth fret of the B string and the pinky just behind it on the sixth fret of the top E string. We keep the bottom string open for this one and we have an E minor seven. The last chord that we're going to learn is the A minor seven. So for this one, we have our first finger on the fourth fret on the B string and we have our second finger on the fifth fret of the D string. Our thumb is stretching over to mute the bottom string and that is the A minor seven. The strumming pattern that we use for this song is mostly downstrokes and that sounds like this. It can sound quite powerful, but also it's quite tiring on the right hand doing it for the full song. Another way to play it is down and up strokes, sound like this. And another thing to note is that some of the chord changes within the song change on the upbeat. So you'll be changing chord on the upstroke. With that all said, hope you enjoy playing through the song. There is always that look in your eye As we pass the evening by Where the streets fell in love with the night And the neon glowing And the neon glowing And I said to you Darling, we're gonna miss these days Oh, we're gonna miss these days Nights made for runaways Oh, we're gonna miss these days Sit back and surrender your plans Light the candles on the stand Black dress in the window You looked like a veteran
Mermaids made for runaways Oh, we're gonna miss these days Darling, we're gonna miss these days Thanks very much for watching guys. I really hope you've enjoyed learning these days on the guitar. The chord sheet will be linked in the description. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comments and I'll get back to you. And if you want to catch the latest from Tidelines, hit the subscribe button. Cheers.